despite what all them RNs think, honey, <laughs> LPNs are nurses. I heard that. So as far as like your pay going from LPN to where you are now, do you feel like you was able to negotiate your pay? Did you take what you got? Did you have a good grasp of how much you, you were going to get paid coming out of it? Like, So I just automatically assumed, oh, I'm going from an LPN. If I would have stayed in my previous job, I would have been making pretty good money. But I just, it was too much going on. I needed to be focused on me passing this test. Um, and so I put in a notice and I left my job. I left my job and I started doing PRN work until I finished school because I knew it was coming. I didn't, before I left my job, I did not know, I did not have a testing date to finish school. But I put in a notice, I kept mm -hmm. the faith, I kept studying, I was studying every day. And when I finally got the date, I got the date and it took me, they gave me the date, the testing date was four weeks out. So I only had really four weeks to really know what I was studying. I worked with somebody who holds a workshop for the school. Um, I worked, oh, mm -hmm. that was awesome. Mm -hmm. I worked with them. Um, I worked with different people in the Facebook group who kind of helped me, encouraged me, who were doing the program. They gave me little tips and things of that nature. Um, but yes, what was the question? But I was trying to see uh, oh, the, the pay. pay. The pay, the pay. The pay. Mm -hmm. So I just automatically assumed that me going from LPN to RN, I'm going to make really, really good money. It don't happen. It don't happen that fast, honey. <laughs> so what they really want you to do is have a foundation. They want you to have a foundation. So they want you really to be working somewhere probably for like a year or so. If you've been an LPN, I'm going to say two years, three years, and then you bridge over to an RN at your same job. Oh, you better negotiate that pay. Right. That you can. That's something that you can negotiate. Now, when you're going to a totally new place as a RN, they gonna try to give you the lowest money possible really? as a new RN. Yes, honey. So you would say it's probably best to stay where you at and then kind of negotiate. Stay where you experience. at. Get your experience, and if you want to leave, go ahead and leave at the day here. Say I was making a. Uh, $30 an hour in my last job, even if he was making 25 <laughs> <laughs> Hike it up a little bit. Hike it up just a little bit. Wow, so that's something I didn't think about. That's, I know someone, she had got into um, a community college. She did like the first semester and she was like, I just quit because I figured I wasn't going to make enough money. Damn. Like it wasn't going to, because I don't know how long she had been at LPN, but she was like, I did the research. I'm not going to make that much more going from LPN to RN. Have you heard people say that? I have heard. I know some LPNs that make some money. Like I, I do know LPNs that make some really good money, but I just feel like it's more opportunities for RNs and you can make some money with being an RN. Right. You just have to, you have to start from the bottom. Right. Mm. That's what I'm thinking about. So you think probably after that year of experience, that's when you'd be able to get a little bit more? I would say a year. And then move probably somewhere else and get a little bit yeah, more. Yeah, because a lot of people really, um, especially with being an RN, um, a lot of people look, they say, even on the applications, when you fill out applications to be an RN, um, it says, do you have at least a year experience yeah, in they do. this or that, that or two years? And now I'm even seeing three years experience. I'm like, wow. well, I don't have experience as an RN, but can I use my LPN experience? So have you, have you done that? Have you asked or have you only applied for one place? So a place that I applied for, I applied for so many places. Did you? I know you was excited. You was, I was ready. ready when you got out. Soon as, I know you was so soon ready. as I seen that I passed, I started applying for jobs, honey. I was so and excited. Gone, girl. I'm so proud of you. I know, oh, but girl. It, it, it's a struggle. <laughs> it, I ain't gonna even lie. Really. It's a stroke. Explain, please. Oh, How God. Was Lord, it's depressing, honey. <laughs> I say I got more jobs as an LPN oh, than a new grad RN. Mm -hmm. Like, it's, I'm going to say the I most. I didn't even think about that. The most stressful part is actually going on so many interviews. And you know you didn't kill the interview. And then you would be like. You know, you do everything right, you look nice, you your hair is together, your resume is good, you got a cover letter, which is important. Um, you 
I even send thank you emails. I, 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 I talk about some specifically that we talked about in the interview uh -huh. and I put it in my thank you email. I send a thank you email. Some res respond, some don't. And then I just, I just want to know, just give me that common courtesy to know if I got the job or if I didn't get the job. Right. And so some, some people, I wouldn't hear nothing from them at the several interviews and and nothing. on that app oh, the, on those applications they do say um one year two year experience and i am you know i was a new rn applying for those jobs but i wanted to come in and say you know i i shouldn't need that experience if you tell me how to do something i can do it right and guess what you can train and anybody's trainable anybody's trainable as an lpn I was basically assisting and guiding a lot of art ends mm -hmm. within the facility that I worked in. So I was a very knowledgeable LPN. So um, as a new grad RN, it sucks, but it can it can get better. It can get better. Mm. I didn't even think about that transition. So it's kind of hard. Where you are now, how long did it take you from when you started applying? So where I am now, I'm gonna say it took me like a month to get hired, about a month. And you say you love it? I love it um, for the time being. I'm always open to new opportunities. Matter of fact, I just went on the interview, <laughs> honey. I'm not limiting myself I to no that. job. So I just, what's your dream job? My dream, Oh, that's a that's another <laughs> video, honey. For real, that is it's within it and make this make that another okay. video. Okay, that's your dream job? so my dream job is actually um, teaching holistic nursing. Oh, that's awesome to people. That's awesome. I think that's really cool. Yep. Yeah, that's like a field I would want to go into. I'm so holistic here. There's all these medications and all. It's so many ways you can talk to me afterwards, honey. <laughs> okay, I got you. <laughs> Did you do you feel like being LPN at first helped you at all to feel more confident, or do you think it was kind of like a crutch? You know what I'm saying? Like you like, oh, the LPN, I got this. Or do you feel like it helped you to be more like, okay, like it gave you more? You know what I'm saying? It helped you. So it hurt with you. me, I think it helped me because I can. If somebody tell me, okay, forget what you learned, you're gonna have to do this again. Okay, I'm gonna forget what I learned and I'm gonna relearn it the way you want me to learn it. But with some people, they did not pass that program because they were ill. So certain people, when they get in certain levels with being an LPN, like if you're an LPN, you're a manager, you're in charge, you're scheduling people, you think that you don't have to learn certain stuff about different programs. No, you have to start from the bottom. Mm. It was people that were sent home on the second day that we were there because they thought they knew everything but they got kicked out of that program. They had to do that test. Two thousand dollars going down the drain, and I'm gonna say twenty three hundred because I was. I think it was around twenty two, twenty three hundred dollars, and they had to go home. They, they thought they was that ready, and they probably waited so long to get. To and it was a. It was something simple, I believe. I don't think that she um, verified her units or insulin. It was something really, really, really very simple. They got her kicked out and she could not complete her clinical test out so it's serious business like this program is it's the truth I'm like so you find a part <laughs> you you got to be prepared because when those people when those clinical instructors are standing over you um it's very intimidating i mean my heart i needed some type of medicine because i felt my heart jumping out of my body like it was that intense. Somebody wow. just standing over you, watching you do everything. You got to do everything right, or you will fail. It was like having a state in the building. <laughs> that's exact. That's the, that the exact analogy. Yes, that's having what state. Like. Yes, having state in the building while you're doing your test out. That's perfect. Perfect. Mm. Dang. For y'all that don't know what that is, state is like the police of nursing. Ooh, they, when they come in the facility, they gonna watch every single thing you do mm. and write it down. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it, it can get you in a lot of trouble. Mm -hmm. And they're gonna ask a lot of questions. So I think that's good that you say that, you know, it's serious. I think a lot of people think, oh, it's the LPN. I mean, it's the RN, not RN. It's an online program. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, you know, da, da, da. you just mm -mm. fluff your way through it. No, you pushing. You ain't really learning nothing. Mm -mm. It's just online. This and the third. But 
you have to be disciplined. You gotta, you know, show up and do it. Especially because you have to go take your class, your test at Pearson View. But do you um, regret doing LPN first versus going straight for your RN? Or how do you feel about that? I'm gonna say that sometimes I do regret it, but for my situation, I think it was better for my situation because I had some things going on before I did the LPN. Um, but as far as with my situation, LPN, it was it was meant for me to do that at that time. And I'm very grateful um, for being an LPN first and then bridging over to an RN. That's what's up. About it, yes. The hepatic portal system. Yes, and um, also the different levels that you needed to test for. Like... Mm -hmm. TSH, TSH, people. yeah, all of that. That was really like intense for me. But she was good with labs, wasn't she? Yeah, was I good. love labs. So that's something I, I never <laughs> remember labs. I think the teacher made one mistake. They was like, oh, when you uh, when they send you the labs, it's gonna have the normal on there. I was like, oh, it's gonna have it on there. Psh, I ain't gonna remember this. <laughs> exactly. And I, I hate that I did not learn it while I was in school. I need to learn it, but it seems so hard to like go back and relearn stuff. Mm -hmm. Did you yes. ever have that? issue like that's my thing that i feel like i'm gonna have to people like oh it's gonna be easy because you're lp but i feel like i'm gonna have to like change some bad habits and like relearn it you know what you i'm saying you learn it the issue is that it, you have to relearn it on a higher level because you're on a different level of thinking as a rn lpn you do have to think to a certain extent but as being being an rn you have to think just critical think on a higher level so what do you think when now when you see people say like, oh, LPN, you're not a nurse. What do you think of that? <laughs> do you feel like that's the case? Be honest. Or do you feel like it was just play nurse? We that was our little name. We was we was calling ourselves the little, little play nurses, nurses, honey. Yeah. I knew I was a nurse and I was making nurse money. <laughs> and so I don't care what people say. But what about now as an RN do you, and you see the difference? I was an LPN, honey, running a facility. So, LPNs are nurses. Boom! <laughs> Despite what all them RNs think, honey, <laughs> LPNs are nurses. I heard that, I heard that. So you still feel like... Oh yeah, I still feel, I still feel that way. Yeah, because LPNs, they put in their work. They put in the work in the time. So what do you think when people be like, oh, it's not that much of a difference between LPN and RN? It's not that much of a difference. It's only a year of schooling. But what about the like you the said, titles. critical thinking things like that? I think that the because there's some LPNs that do way more than these RNs, and there's some LPNs that's way more knowledgeable um, than the RNs. The titles it is not much of a difference. I do agree with that, and I think it's stupid to basically judge somebody off being an LPN and an RN when it's only like certain stuff. We learned it in school what LPNs can't do. Like they can't do blood, um, they can't do like ports. Mm -hmm. um, initial assessment. Initial um, assessments. I think that's the, why not? Why not? Because in most nursing facilities, like long-term care, you doing it. You doing it anyway. Doing so admissions. But so in some states, that's not true. LPNs can't do that. So, so it, it just varies. it yeah, just varies. So you just have to know your state laws. I think a lot of people just be be uh, what do you call it? Bitter. Mm -hmm. Nurses too be really bitter. They right? going for your RN. Da, 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 da. We right. the same thing. RNs don't know nothing. Da, 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 da. Yep. And I kind of can see both sides of it, but mm -hmm. I just feel like we should all just respect each other. Like you said, like the titles and all that is just. It's silly. Very silly. I just wish it wasn't even an LPN to so something to compare to because people think that you're an LPN. Oh, you're not a nurse. Oh, because the first question as an LPN, I get asked. Oh, they say, I'll say I'm a nurse. Oh, you an RN? That's the first question. Yeah. Which I wonder what's that mean? What does that mean? Like what are they trying to okay. say? They they won't really elaborate, but they just say, Oh, you're LPN? What is that? Some people don't really know what LPN is. They really don't. 
Um, I got, I had to get more knowledgeable about an LP. I didn't know what an LPN was. I kind of knew a little bit, but not really. I didn't know the extent to what they did. Because um, you until, came from the hospital. Right, until I got into the program. I didn't so, know either. I remember being, when I was seeing that, I didn't know nothing. I just thought they was just nurses. I did not know it was a difference. So somebody right. was like, I was like, I'm so tired of doing this work. Mm -hmm. like, da, da, da. She said, just go to school be LP. I was like, what the hell is that? Exactly. And she told me, and I applied and got in. True. That was in the story. Mm -hmm. um, now I'm your fave nurse B. Okay. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> that cancer stuff, honey. Yes. Cancer nation. <laughs> cancer squad. Our, our season coming up, girl. It sure is.